so which is two port network two port network in diploma you people are having two port network anyone confirm me whether you are having two port network or not in diploma no sir no you are not having so i know this one this is entirely new concept so uh, what are the problems we are doing in the online class it is quite sufficient okay now so all of you only the title it is somewhat uh, blur we are having let us discuss this one so two port network so anyone can tell me what is the difference between a circuit and network a network is a combination of two or more elements if i am just connecting resistor inductor it is called one simple network but if any network has one closed loop then it is called a circuit so that's why two port network means the elements are connected in any manner but they are not having any closed loop so what do you mean by the word port first we take this one port means what a port means a pair of terminals anywhere if i am having two wires two wires can be called as a simple port and with an assumption that at the port the currents always enter or current may leave so what is the definition we have written a pair of terminals at which current may enter or current may leave is called the port so what is the port definition a pair of terminals two terminals at which current may enter or current may leave is called the port okay but our concept our topic name is two port network two port means port means how many wires we are having two wires whereas two port means we should have the four terminals so another name for two port network is four terminal network four terminal network sir what is this two port network means let us say we are having the machine in the brackets in the box i have written first for your understanding machine we are having electrical machine so i want to study the behavior of the machine we are uh, taking different equations so the behavior of the machine can also be studied by two port network no need to study the armature reaction and all those things the complete behavior the efficiency of the machine machine means the generator or motor the efficiency of the motor efficiency of the generator can also be studied by a concept called two port network similarly if i want to study the behavior of the aeroplane i can also use the two port network concept to study the behavior of aeroplane in the same manner transmission lines power transmission lines how much power is transmitted we can also study using the two port network another example is amplifier amplifier is uh, amplifier so amplifier you will study in electronic subject how much in order to study the behavior of the amplifier also i can use the two port network another name for two port network is black box because we don't know what are the components present inside the two port network so first sir what is this two port network how it is useful to the electrical engineering with the two port network is a concept it is a method through which we can study the behavior we can calculate input and output of different components example transmission line and generator as well as the motor so two port network can be anything so the people say it is also called as black box so what is two port network it contains input port and output port so input terminals and output terminals two terminals are called one particular port where at each terminal or at each port we are having input voltage input current output voltage output current generally we call input voltage and input current as v1 and i1 and output voltage and output current as v2 and i2 remember in two port network every time the current should enter the port always the arrow marks of the current are assumed that always the currents they try to enter the port we cannot say current i2 is moving away from the node away from the port so this is the simple diagram which if they ask you in the two marks explain two port network we have to write this one and write the definition of the two port network what is a port network all of you a pair of terminals at which current may enter or leave is called a port two port network contains four it is a four terminal network now so what we have to do in two port network 
in two port network we are having the variables how many variables are there anyone tell me we got v1 i1 v2 i2 four variables so what i can do with two port network i can bring the relation between voltage and the current voltage and current that means i can bring the relation as voltage is a function of the currents current is independent and voltage is depending on the current or i can bring the relation current is independent and voltage is sorry current is dependent and current is depending on the voltage so with the help of two port network what we can do we can bring one relation between voltage and currents so voltage is depending on current or current depends on the voltage so now how many types of two port parameters we are having in this unit sir what question they will ask you okay we are they are going to ask so how many types of parameters we are supposed to study so all of you please name this one we are having z parameter y parameter h parameter and a b c d parameters so in this unit what i am going to study i am supposed to do the problems on z parameters here parameters means variables i1 and v1 or v2 and i2 are called the parameters okay z parameters and y parameters h parameters a b c d parameters so these four topics only we are supposed to study in this unit okay now now, now you see z parameters what is the use in the initial classes i mentioned z parameters are practically used to calculate how much power is flowing through the wire okay power flow y parameters y short circuit y means anyone tell me what is the full form of z in the second unit i mentioned what is the full form of z anyone student impedance z means impedance parameters and y anyone admittance very good admittance, admittance. reciprocal of impedance y is admittance parameter what is the use of admittance means how much short circuit current is flowing through the wires so we are having transmission lines if there is a fault so how much short circuit current is flowing through the wire we are supposed to calculate that is there we use the y parameters technique and you are studying the electronic subject now you are doing only rectifiers i think yes sir all of you only full bridge rectifier in that one so next you will yes, study sir. amplifier amplifier will increase the strength of weak signal to strong signal how how to bring how to write the equations of amplifier means in that subject also you will study hybrid parameters i don't know whether it is started or not but uh, very soon it will be started in electronic subject so h uh, h parameters hybrid parameters is very important when it comes to the amplifiers behavior now a b c d parameters explain how much power is transferred and how many what are the losses in a transmission line so transmission lines behavior is explained by a b c d parameters so whatever we study in power system and machines that in different technique we can study uh, that technique is nothing but two port network so two port network is one new concept which explains the input and output calculations efficiency calculations of any device so let us say you have invented any new thing new machine you have invented one robot you have invented that robot uh, formulas can be explained by two port network so what two port network will assume any machine has got input and output we will bring the relation between voltage and current so in this unit uh, we are not supposed to study any machine and all those things in this unit for us they will give you one network anyone tell me on the screen this 224 it is network or circuit anyone tell me think all of you network means it is a combination of network. elements very good network only just connection circuit means what it should have one closed region okay so in our subject as our subject is electrical circuits first we do the problems only on resistors then we do the problems on resistor and inductor okay and capacitor that is what we have to do so how many parameters we are supposed to study in our syllabus z parameter y parameter h parameter and a b c d parameter okay so this is the most important unit so as i am mentioning 
so we have to be perfect in the problem solve this one so now we are taking the introduction so for us they will give you one network we should assume it has got input voltage input current input output voltage and output current okay so this is port 1 and this is port 2 port means pair of terminals at which current will enter the network now so all of you listen z parameters impedance parameters what is the use they explain how much power is transmitted through the wire so what is the basic formula explain z parameters means you should draw the circuit it is up to you your own values any value you can keep here okay right so what is the formula for z parameters remember all of you in z parameters voltage is dependent and current is independent we assume that current is independent and voltage is depending on the current so voltage is represented as a function of current so no theory statements in our subject so voltage v is equal to f into i voltage is a function of the current okay but how many voltages we are having anyone tell me we got v1 and v2 therefore we say that yes we got v1 and v2 therefore v1 is a function of how many currents we are having i1 and i2 comma we we should write this is the language here so v1 is depending on i1 and i2 v2 is also depending on same i1 and i2 so i1 comma i2 so what is the representation means you must draw one circuit or network here and write the equation now you see all of you so actually this is our expression so for your understanding i brought this one so what is our assumption all of you z parameters what is explanation of z parameters z in z parameters voltage depends on current we should write the equation in such a way that voltage depends on current voltage is a function of current now i am having two voltages input voltage and output voltage input voltage at port 1 and output voltage at port 2 so v1 and v2 v1 is equal to v1 depends on i1 plus it is also depending on i2 v2 depends on i1 plus it's also depends on i2 so we say that what is the formula for impedance anyone impedance z is equal to v by i z is equal to v by i so i can write v is equal to i into z so here we should write which value will be perfect so i cannot write here uh, the power i cannot write v is equal to p into i that concept is not there we are having v is equal to i into z so how many variables we are having four so we write here four impedances v1 equal to first impedance second impedance third impedance and fourth impedance so all the students so sir why you are writing z11 z12 i will tell you that one okay so what is the equation for z parameters what are z parameters z parameters are used for power flow calculations but in our subject if any network is given to us they will ask you to calculate z parameters obtain z parameters so z parameters are z11 z12 z21 and z22 which explains the power values okay now you see all of you so this is the expression how we got that you have to remember this expression how we got this expression we assume voltage is a function of the current and we assume here voltage is a function of current but what is that function value impedance v1 is equal to z into i1 similarly all these values now you see all of you all students now you see so let i have not written here but you have to remember let i2 is equal to 0 i want the formula for z11 entire subject works with this equation only you need to have this unit so first i want the value of z11 how to find the value of z11 z11 value should be explained in terms of v1 in terms of voltage and current so first let us assume that i2 is equal to 0 first i will tell you why i2 is equal to 0 anyone tell me if i keep i2 is equal to 0 what is the left over equation z11 uh, into i that is if i2 is equal to 0 we got v1 is equal to z11 into i1 from that what i am i can write z11 equal to v1 by i1 this symbol is at at i2 is equal to 0 sir now i am showing i will explain with the circuit z11 
Z11 is impedance. Okay. <coughs> Why you are calling at Z11 means it belongs to the input port. See, V1 is input. I1 is also input. Therefore, we are having Z11. One indication I'm telling you. So if Z11 means numerator coefficient should be one, denominator coefficient should be also one. So I want the Z11 value. So we assume that I2, if we are keeping zero, I2 zero means it is open circuit or short circuit. Anyone tell me? Current is zero. Open circuit. open circuit. Very good. So remember all of you Z parameters. Another name is open circuit parameters. Open circuit parameters. Now all of you, I am asking how to obtain the value of Z21. Anyone tell me? Z21. How to do that? Again, uh, keep I2, I2, I2 is equal to, when I2 is equal to zero, now uh, we are left over with the V2 and Z21 into I1. So Z21 is equal to V2 by I1. Now here I have written Z21 equal to V2 by I1. You can see the notation Z21. Impedance means voltage by current. So we get voltage in the numerator always by current. V by I we can write and 2 is the numerator and I is the denominator. At what condition we can get this one at I2 is equal to 0. So sir, what is, what is the introduction? What I have to remember means in this unit, first impedance parameter or Z parameter. So what is the equation? V1. All of you, please remember this one. You can write. So what is the impedance uh, parameters, impedance uh, Z parameters? Equation V1. Voltage V1 and V2 are depending. Now you must write first this one. Voltage depends on current. Okay. How many voltages are there? V1 and V2 are depending on both the currents. Input current and output current. So first we must write this expression. V1, V2 are depending on I1 and I2. So this expression then followed by Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So now our aim is to calculate Z11, all the four values. Okay. Now we are going to the problem, problem one in this unit. Okay. So all of you, new circuit is visible. All of you better you uh, try along with me now. See, in the entire electrical circuit analysis subject, what are your weapons? What you are supposed to be perfect? Anyone tell me? Mesh analysis, nodal analysis. Yes, sir, no, all of you? Mesh and yes, sir. nodal. If you are perfect in that one, any uh, circuit you can solve. So all of you, what is the circuit they have your network? Sorry, uh, T section network. First basic network we are taking T section. It is in the shape of T. All of you, anyone read this one? What are the values they have given? Two. Yeah, two, two and four. Okay, four. two, two and four. So they will give you one network. They will ask you the question is, obtain Z parameters for this given network. So we must write V1, I1, V2 and I2. They will give you only this network. We have to write V1, I1, V2, I2. Then what they are asking, obtain impedance parameter or Z parameter. Okay, so Z parameters. First parameter is what Z, uh, Z parameter, all of you. What is the first parameter? Z11. So Z is equal to V by I. And Z11 means keep the numerator one, denominator also one. And at which condition we obtain Z11 formula in the equation just now I mentioned when I2 is equal to zero, when I2 current is made equal to zero, we obtain this Z11. Is it clear all of you? Z11 formula is V1 by I1 at I2 is equal to zero. Every student has to respond because these are the problems here. Now. Come on. So how to solve this one? They have given one network. So first my aim is to calculate Z11 where I have to find the value of V1 and I1. Okay. Now all of you see. So at I2 is equal to 0. Now you see all of you. I2 is 0. I2 0 means it is open. Yes or no? Anyone tell me what is the current flowing through 2 ohms now? I2 0 means? 0. 0. Current flowing through 2 ohms is 0. I kept here 0. So there is no resistor, but this is this uh, I2 zero. Okay. But oh, this is open, open circuit voltage is present or not present. Anyone tell me open circuit means voltage is present or voltage is not present. 
present 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 in our house when you turn on the switch at this switch voltage is present so i should write here voltage v2 is present okay but i2 is equal to 0 so the leftover circuit is only 2 and 4 we are not having this resistor so now what is my aim i have to calculate v1 and i1 okay forget about what we have to calculate you see all of you you apply the kvl so v1 is present how much value they will not give you v2 also they will not give you but this is a circuit condition is i2 is equal to 0 only one mesh we are having so mesh analysis you apply so what now you see all of you always in this unit uh, loop current we cannot assume in anti clockwise or clockwise it depends upon this port current because according to the port concept we should follow i1 i1 is always entering i2 is also always entering yeah, i will show you another problem so i am assuming the loop current as also i1 and luckily in this circuit i1 and i1 both are in same direction yes sir no? now apply kvl all of you what is the expression v1 is equal to uh, i1 into 2 plus 4 v1 is equal to i1 into 6 see if you understand one problem all problems you can solve that is easiest thing v1 is equal to i1 into 6 we are having because there is no second mesh now all of you tell me what is z11 formula z11 equal to v1 by i1 you just bring v1 by i1 is equal to how many ohms all of you 6 ohms Six we got ohms. here directly we have to bring the value of z11 so first it will be confusing but later on you, you must know the idea what we have to do for the given circuit now I'll take you to the circuit. Anyone, come on. Tell me the value of Z21. Z21, what is the formula? Z21 is equal to, uh, numerator is V, denominator is I. Z21 is equal to V2 by I1. Yes or no, all of you? Second bit I am calculating. Z21 is equal to V2 by I1. Impedance means voltage by current. Z2 means numerator 2, denominator 1. V2 by I1. At which condition will get uh, uh, V2 by I1? Previously, I have shown the equation. If I keep I2 is equal to 0, if I keep I2 is equal to 0 in my expression, then only I can get the Z21. Yes or no? I am showing once again for you people. All of you, equation is visible now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. How to get Z21? In order to get Z21, what I have to do? Tell me. I2 is equal to 0, we have to keep. Then only I'll get the value of Z21. Okay, that's why in my problem also, what I have written the formula Z21 is equal to V2 by I1. Okay, at which condition I2 is equal to 0. Okay, now, so since always remember Z11 and Z21, same circuit, you can use this same circuit. Now you tell me I2 is equal to 0. Already we have created the condition I2 is equal to 0. Now anyone tell me what I want now. In order to calculate Z21, what I want? I want the value of V2 I2. and I1. V2, I1. And I1. So first see the circuit where V2 is present. V2 is present at the second port or at second terminals. Now V2. Now anyone tell me, what is the formula for V2? V2. You see which method we have applied mesh only. If I keep the voltmeter, that voltmeter will indicate the voltage across which register. 4 ohms and it will set the voltage at this register. But this register current is how much? Zero. It is open. So what is V2 if you connect the voltmeter here? V2 is nothing but voltage at which register? 4 ohms resistor. Yes or no? So we can see only 4 ohms. So I have written with clarity. What is V2 now as per the formula? Uh, circuit. Voltage across which register all the students? 4 ohms. Four ohm. Because it is connected across 4 ohms only. So now, now you tell me, what is the formula for V2? I am, I am not using the nodal analysis. I am using mesh now. So V2 is equal to, uh, what is the formula? 4 into I1. Yes or no? Because which current is flowing through 4? I1. So V2 is equal to I1 into 4 or V2 is equal to 4 into I1. I brought the value for V2. Numerator is finished. So what I have to do next? I1. Okay. But you see, V2 is equal to 4 into I1. I am just substituting here, all of you see, Z21 equal to V2 by I1. What is the value of V2 we got, all of you? 4 into I1. I substituted 4 into I1. 
already denominator i1 is there i1 i1 get cancelled what is the answer we got 4 ohms. Four ohms. Four ohms. Four ohms. that's all as simple as that only the logic we are supposed to use in this unit so now all of you remember the names z11 z12 z21 z22 see one question i am asking pole you are having okay between two poles how many wires will be there let us say we got two wires okay now how many ports are there port 1 and port 2 two poles are called the two ports okay so z11 is all are impedances only but you must remember the name z11 is input impedance okay it is also called as driving point impedance input driving point driving point means here from the input currents are flowing through the output so z12 1 2 2 1 just like matrices they are called transfer impedance okay so why z21 z21 what they have written reverse transfer impedance because which voltage is shown in the numerator input voltage or output voltage anyone output voltage second port voltage therefore it is called reverse transfer impedance or is as it is the first class you remember z11 is nothing but the input impedance z22 is called the output impedance and z12 z21 are called the transfer impedance understood all of you so later on we'll discuss why it is driving point and all those things first you must be in a position to solve the problem is it fine all of you so shall i go for the next one how many bits we have calculated now z11 and z21 we have calculated so now you tell me all of you tell me the formula of z22 anyone equation is visible no come on by this equation only we have to do you write in the notes also now only how to calculate z22 by v1 very v2 good by v1 uh, slowly think and tell me don't get confused i want z22 so what i have to do second equation i will take and which one i have to make zero i1 i1 see this is impedance means open circuit parameters you should never do v to zero you might have got one doubt also okay so now i1 is equal to zero if i keep i1 is equal to zero this expression is zero what we have left v2 is equal to z2 to into i2 so what is z2 to formula now all students i2 v2 by v2 by i2 z2 to is v2 by i2 similarly you tell me z12 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 is equal to v1 by i2 and i1 is equal to zero so now you see all of you i have done z12 okay z12 so z12 is equal to what is the formula z12 it is impedance v by i z12 is equal to v1 by i2 at which condition we are getting z12 i1 is equal to zero from that equation you must write that equation and you must check z12 is equal to v1 by i2 at i1 is equal to zero now same circuit i have drawn what they have given in the question but now you tell me which one is zero all the students i1 is zero i1, I1. i1 is zero but i1 is zero but voltage will present v1 and i2 is not zero so i have to use kvl now you see all of you when i am using the two port networks i should follow the direction of the port current i2 current is always flowing towards the port so i cannot show clockwise okay so it is also taken as per the direction of i2 so i2 is one current i am assuming which is flowing in this mesh i2 is flowing now now you tell me apply kvl v2 v2 is equal to uh, i2 into only one mesh no this is open i2 into 2 plus 4 and what is the current flowing through this resistor all of you zero zero okay so we get v2 is equal to 6 i2 okay v2 i got but what is my question i have to calculate the value of z12 so z12 what is the formula v1 by i2 i want the value of v1 so what is v1 now see the circuit all of you uh, v1 where it is present anyone tell me what is the formula for v1 where v1 will be present now v1 is the voltage at which resistor 4 ohm resistor 4 ohm resistor because current flowing through this resistor is zero if it is not is not zero v1 is a voltage across 2 ohms and voltage across 4 ohms but here it is zero v1 is equal to voltage across 4 ohms 
now which current is flowing through forums all of you which current is flowing i2 so v1 is I2. equal to v1 is equal to 4 into i2 4 into i2 so we got the v1 just substitute the v1 value already denominator you are having i2 so 4 into i2 by i2 answer is how much 4 z12 is equal to 4 so if in any circuit if you get the values z21 equal to z12 as same value then it the network is reciprocal then the network is reciprocal network name you just remember now let us solve what is the last bit we have to calculate now all of you z22 z2 uh, come on who will tell what is the formula for z22 all of you z22 means no need to remember anything z means v by i 22 means numerator is 2 and denominator is 2 and here i2 is present means i1 will be zero here so z22 how can i calculate from the equation when i1 is zero i can get the value of z22 which is v2 by i2 is it clear all of you come on so which value i have to bring now tell me v2 yes or no all of you v2 you see the circuit what is the formula for v2 we got v2 is equal to 6 into i2 so v2 is equal to 6 into i2 i just substituted here z22 is equal to 6 into i2 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 get cancelled and answer is how much 6 ohms yes or no all of you it is direct substitution only last bit will be easy now you see if in any network if you are getting the value z11 equal to z22 that is we got z116 z226 and z12 z21 all is 4 that is same values then the given network is read anyone symmetrical and reciprocal it is symmetrical and reciprocal so now is it clear all of you so by practice you will get the uh, logical thinking let me take you to the next problem okay all of you new circuit you are able to see anyone confirm yes sir so all of you we got two types of networks one is simple t section and this is what is the name of this network anyone guess pi pi no it is in the shape of pi yes sir so this is called pi section network okay pi shaped circuit now all of you come on so how many val values we are having resistors 2 4 2 they are asking you to calculate impedance parameters so we must write v1 i1 v2 i2 okay i have written next all of you you have to remember the formulas anyone tell me what is the formula for z11 Uh, v1 by v1 by i1 at i2 is equal to zero. Similarly, z21 v2 by i1. If here we are having i1, here we will get i2. i2 is equal to zero. You can ask one question, sir. Why I have to make current only zero? So when you are calculating impedance, we must do the current zero. If I am calculating the admittance, we have to go for voltage zero. That is will be the next topic. So no need to write the equation. Every time they will see the answer. Z11 equal to V1 by I1 at I2 is equal to zero. Okay. So for this given network, what I have to do? I have to make I2 zero. I2 zero means resistor will be removed now. Tell me all of you, anyone? I2 zero. Here we are having junction now. There is no effect on the resistor. Resistor will be there. Only the current I2 is zero. Yes, sir. No, all of you. And voltage will also be present V2, which is across the resistor two. So now you tell me. i should remove this resistor no because here we are having junction it is not in series so what is a new circuit new circuit contains everything so now how many meshes we are having tell me anyone two, two. two meshes so now you see all of you already port current is i1 that's why what i have taken two meshes i got i know only one method mesh analysis so i assume the current ia so which direction i have to take in both the meshes i should follow the direction of this port to current i1 so in both meshes i have taken ia and ib first simply you apply mesh 1 you know how to apply mesh 1 and here also we apply mesh 2 okay mesh 1 mesh 2 we have done but what i have to calculate anyone tell me v1 i have to calculate yes or no all of you v1 now anyone tell me what is the value of i1 by seeing the circuit anyone guess What is the value of I one? Two. I one, I one. I one is equal to I A. 
because ia is also flowing in first mesh and i1 is there in the first mesh yes or no all of you yes or no so i1 is equal to ia okay we got i1 equal to ia now we will calculate v1 so what is the expression we got v1 v1 is equal to 2 into ia minus 2 into ib by substituting this so mesh 2 we got but from mesh 2 we got the expression ia is equal to 4 into ib okay you know how to apply mesh analysis here and we know what is the condition just now i mentioned we know what i1 is equal to ia so v1 v1 i have substituted here 2 into ia minus 2 ib and ia is equal to 4 ib if you just substitute the values you will get this z11 this if you see the material you will understand z11 is equal to how many ohms we got here finally 3 by 2 ohms okay now let me share with you uh, only this small change is there share with you the z21 all of you z21 z21 what is the formula all of you v2 by i1 at i2 is equal to 0 z2 v2 by i1 at equal to 0 what is v2 now voltage across 2 ohms so how to see the v2 so all of you anyone tell me what is v2 formula now see the circuit and tell me v2 think and tell me if it is wrong also okay v1 means we got the expression what is v1 2 into ia minus 2 into ib i want v2 anyone v2 is present at 2 ohms only ah v2 is v2 to, is ah 2i 2i2 which which current flowing i2 is IB. equal to, ib very good v2 is equal to 2 into ib 2 ib plus 2i ib no, no, minus no, no. ia it will not be there ah 2 into ib only v2 is present at 2 ohms only so 2 into ib minus ia that is different v2 is present at this resistor only 2 into ib therefore i write v2 is equal to 2 into ib only and already we know ia is equal to 4 ib so we get substitute v2 is equal to 2 ib and i1 we already know i1 is equal to ia ia is equal to 4 ib we'll get 1 by 2 now similarly Z12 uses Z12 is equal to V1 by I2 at I1 is called zero. I1 here it is zero.